would have said the penultimate, but that would have been the last one. Oh well. Missed that opportunity. Uh, the one that I've been waiting for. Launch with fan... Oh, yeah. Alright. It's like... Here you are. In the game. Uh, I have not seen the intro yet, so let's do that. Look at you, hacker. A path pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the Try magic happens. Him. The Von nice. Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine Tri being able okay. to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems. Nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Until something goes horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, and I'm just going to double check, is there a subtitles? No. Okay. In we go. So yeah, as you can see, this was not only irrational, but... Uh, Looking Grass, uh, Looking Grass, Looking Glass Studios, uh, which I believe was also part of the Bioshock team. And... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I drink too. Oh, excuse me. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. Okay, I need to... what? Who? Oh, hold on. Options. Okay. Uh, 
Slide left and right, C, C, hold on. No, 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 that's not going to work. Um, so these will be Z and C. And change, oops. Um, bind Z. for the weapons. Okay, compass HUD can see an alt. Jesus. This is kind of insane how many different things there are. Welcome to old school FPSs. Uh, no, quick save. I'm so used to it being new school. Oh, uh, that didn't work. So, S alt and L alt. Okay. Alright, was. sure that that's there. Alright. Excuse me. And did that get bound to E, I think? I guess it is. Yeah, home E. Okay, good. Uh, jump space. Can I find that to mouse up? Oh, I can. Nice. All right. I think. I think. Oh, 
Hold on. Curious now what this looks like. Basically, what I just said. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, lean right, left. Yep, yep. That's the default that it was, which makes no sense. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Sorry for that. I will uh, provide a link to skip past that. Much better. Wow, that sensitivity is way high. One more time. Uh, wait. Okay, let's turn that down a bit. Eh, that'll work. Well, you kind of sprint when you go to the side. Step into the grab shaft to proceed to the street level recruitment. Whoa. Whoa. And, uh, while I ha obviously haven't done it for this, I do plan to find the, uh, texture packs and stuff that kind of bring this to a more modern, you know, stuff like that would be actual nice and high definition, not choppy looking because it was so tiny, which it had to be, you know, back, what, now, 15 years ago now? Good God, 15 years. That is ridiculous. So it seems like you Before could... you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, Proceed to the advanced training area. Right. So yeah, you actually walk faster by strafing. Almost get kind of a little sprint there. Neat. Whoa. To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get by in the service, enter this Cyberlink booth. Inside, you'll learn the basic skills you'll need to get started. Welcome, trainee. Neat. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? <laughs> that means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab key. 
This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground to the next training station. Nice. So this may have been one of the one of the first uh, attempts at merging FPSs and RPGs. So it looks like we're gonna make kind of like a circle here. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the tab key. You can move items around your inventory by left clicking and dragging them around. To drop an item, drag it from your inventory into the 3D view and release the mouse button. <laughs> and I guess you open these up as you go. Okay. To pick up items, to pick oh. up items, to use items like buttons Sorry. and computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar and right click. This will activate the lift. Try it out. If you can still see your inventory display, it means you're in use mode. Hit tab to return to shoot mode. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Your hit points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen. Many objects in your inventory can be used by right clicking on them. Oops, it's a slow build. But I'll take it. I'm curious if I can just pick up multiple ones here. in front of you. To search it, center it on your screen and right click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right click. To take an item from that container, simply left click on it. This will automatically place that item in your inventory. To close the container window and return to shoot mode, press the tab key. Small quantity of fermium used to apply to current research. One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA display. Currently, the contents of your PDA are empty. Now, pick up the audio log in front of you. This message is coming from the audio log you just picked up. You can use your PDA at any time to play any audio log or email you've received. In the field, the PDA is also used for keeping track of your current mission objectives and obtaining help information. Nice. So we got map. Oh, I like this. So it kind of builds the interface around. Research. Okay. I guess that's still fine stuff. Uh, so is our PDA. Excellent. What are you? Key cards? None. What we can do? Ah, excellent. Now it's time to learn about jumping and mantling. To jump, simply press the space bar. Some surfaces can be mantled onto by holding down the space bar. Mantling lets you pull yourself up to ledges and other high places in front of you. Give it a try. Hmm. So you can actually... Go 
course, no, no feet or anything. But yeah. So if you just keep holding space, excellent. Oh. To climb a ladder, simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. Okay, yeah, ladders are gonna take some getting used to. Come on, there you go. So you kind of get stuck on it. You've done well. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. Okay. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. Weapons training, technical training, and psionics training. Approach the Cyberlink booth of your choice to train in that area. When you finish training and all right, wannabe, oh, if you want to learn the weapon skills that takes to even think about joining the Marines, come on in. We're looking for a few good men. <laughs> nice. Good to have you on board. You'll notice when you're in the Cyberlink booth, the UNN has kindly provided you with a virtual cyber interface and all the simulated skill levels you'll need for the training tasks. But don't get too cocky. They'll disappear once you leave the booth. Ah, oh, crap. That's not my... Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. Once you've loaded the firearm, take a shot at the dummy robot by pressing your left mouse button when in shoot mode. Notice how its health bar gets shorter as you chip away at it. Uh, recoil. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna make... That's gonna make firefights a little tough. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy-based items. Weapons, batteries, you name it. Neat. Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag oh. the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. Okay, so this is the laser pistol. Hands tool. And we're gonna go to that. And okay. Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other training areas first before you enlist. They might just come in handy. Yeah, so that's uh, good to know. Inside, we'll teach you the basics of some technical skills you'll need in the Navy. Hopefully weapons don't degrade that particularly fast. Welcome. You'll notice when you're in the Cyberlink booth, We'll provide you with a temporary cyber interface and the yeah. skills you need to accomplish the training tasks. But they'll only last so long as you're in the booth. Yep. The Got object it. in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, such as hacking or repairing. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory. 
but are instead displayed in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Ah. Okay. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left-click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the Start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Okay. Uh, alright. So... Connects the lines. I, I completely forgot what he said, was saying. I wasn't paying attention. Which is probably not what I should have done. Um, actually. Oops. Let's. Use the keypad by right clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. Okay. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Okay, see so three bright nodes in a line. Got it. Okay. That's easy enough. Well, I say easy enough. Oops. Uh, shit. Damn it. to buy items from replicators. To use a replicator, right-click on it, then left-click on the item you wish to purchase. The item you purchased will drop into the slot below. Make sure you pick up your purchases before you leave. Hi there. Please make your selection. Crazy. Uh, chips, juice, bullets, bullets. Choosing value wrap. Let's do that. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Okay, I can hack it. Really? Nope. Hi there. Replication database reinitialized. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Ooh, nice. A standard bullets and anti-personnel needles. Okay. Neat. You learned the basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career, such as repairing items and modifying weapons. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking interface. Before you enlist in the Navy, try out the other training courses. They'll be useful. Okay. Adjusting my... Inside, you will learn how to reach out with your mind. Do not let fear block your path. To adjust... Whoa! Okay, adjust my microphone. 
headset. We've provided you with a virtual interface, and the red bar at the ah. lower left of your screen oh, tells right. you how Whatever. many side points you have. Psi points symbolize the current ability to use your psi powers. Psi hypos replenish your psi points. Try using a psi hypo and watch your psi points increase. When you've reached your maximum in psi points, move to the next station. This Psy amp amplifies your Psy powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psy amp activates your currently selected Psy discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, cryokinesis and kinetic redirection. Go into use mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available Psy disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select side disciplines from higher tiers. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot and kinetic redirection to pull that nanite container towards you. Be careful. Holding down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of side points, use another side hypo. Sweet. Oh, he's actually jacked into his mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding wrist. process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. Before you enlist in the OSA. It would be useful to experiment in the other training courses. Okay. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. Huh. Okay, so... Psy, technical... Weapons. Uh. Hmm? Oh, come on. This is my uh, use mode. I was trying to find out what uh, my thing was. I remember Sai was high on this character. But. Weapons would be good too. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's go. I'm high on Psy. Pun totally intended, but I, I think I'm gonna take advantage of that. Huh. 
space. So much space. The OSA welcomes you to Orbital Station Chun Lo. Ready yourself to feel the limitations of your mind slipping away. We will guide your path over the next four years. The shuttle bays at the center of the station will ferry you to your next stage of growth. When you've chosen, head into the appropriate shuttle bay. Get ready to learn things you've never imagined. Okay. Nope. Starts with you. Cheese. Uh, so some uh, sensory deprivation. Oh, they're all okay. Renang, Julan, Shaling. Maybe have some information on which. The sensory deprivation ah. tanks aboard the TOS Shaoling await you. There you will spend a solitary year focused in a meditation on motion and sound and how they may serve your will. <laughs> the sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Runang await you. A year in meditation on the nature of matter will grant you power over it. The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Chu Lun are modulated for your training. You shall spend a year in contemplation of mass, both yours and that of objects, until you can bend them to your intentions. Okay. The sensory deprivation tanks aboard the TOS Runang await you. Such an old school CG. Okay, 15 February 2112. Your year in the tanks of the Runang is finished. Your will has grown. Your mind can freeze your foes in their tracks and pull distant objects to you. These talents will serve you well. Second tier disciplines are now within your grasp. You may now take your skills into the field to put them against your enemies. You mastered tier 2 side disciplines, cryokinesis, and kinetic. Redirection. Cool. Huh? Sifting the thoughts of treachery and disloyalty from the morass of emotion and internal conflict that fill most mundanes can be disquieting. You shall spend a year building the general strength of your mind while learning how to probe the thoughts of the less capable without losing yourself. Okay. See, I thought that I'd be able to do all three. Dr. Chandris Valan's research labs have produced many of this decade's advances in psionic technique. You shall spend a year serving his genius, learning to understand his insights and whims. Your body has been neglected in your training of your mind. On IO, you will find soldiers who wish to test their endurance. You will surpass their physical prowess without compromising your mental discipline. Mm, yeah, I should probably do that. February 2113, you are directed to return to station 7, 7434A. Your year at the IO facility has reached its conclusion. You know now that the only real opponent is one who is more cunning than you. Use the cadets around you as prey and learn from their failings. You sense the struggle has greatly enhanced your physical prowess. You gained plus two endurance. Okay. I assume.
assume. I've been gone two years down. You guys are in the same spot. Okay. Field operations. Physical field operations. The terrorism field operations. Acts of political terrorism and corporate coercion disturb corporate and political stability. You shall spend a year battling these chaotic elements, both psionically and by physical force. In the grand scheme, individuals are no more important than pieces on a game board. Occasionally, it becomes necessary to remove a piece without disturbing the flow of the game. These removals will be done in silence and with complete secrecy. You shall spend a year learning these skills. Okay, so that's kind of like, um... It's like a CIA type thing. Many threats to security can only be defeated from inside. Your mind shall be carefully blanked and conditioned with the nature and past of a criminal. Join with the criminal and rebellious. Endure their squalor and chaos. And then, when it is time, liquidate them from within. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, 9 February 2114. Your time of service at the OSA field base has reached its end. Even now, your mind is somewhat clouded and you do not recall the details. You played your part well for most of a year. Your enemies called you friend until you fell upon them with all your talents. You gained plus one strength, agility, and cybernetic affinity, and mastered remote electron tampering. This was for 33 LP. Trans oh, okay. Reassigned from Captain William Bedford Union, soldier of one assignment to the Umbrana Square mission. Your application to join the crew of the Rickenbacker has been approved. Report to Shadow Mayfair at Port Francis. Get ready. I'm part of history soldier. Soldier, this is Dr. Janice Polito of the computer ops staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Alright. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable, dude. Move! Take cover! Critical decompression hazard in the cryo recovery suite. Evacuate immediately. Boop.
Was ist das so? system of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Weapons. Oh, I have. I, I can't tell. Is that 30? I think I have 30. So I can upgrade. Okay, so if I'm reading this right, these are the ones I already have. 
these are the ones I can buy. And it's all weapon kickback. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, increase your agility by two. Increase your cybernetic by two. Increase you from 50% all. Okay. And couldn't buy any of these anyways. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so I can upgrade stats. Strength, endurance, side, agility, cybernetic. Um, what was... Okay, so... Oh! Crap, what happened to my psionics? Jesus. Alright, then, um... I should definitely build up psionics. Cyberdoc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. But hey, I just work here, right? Okay, numerous devices to hack on board security systems. <laughs> They're telling you. Yeah, you can hack this. Even if I undid what I had done before. Ah, I guess I can go here. Somebody 
Okay, that was... charm, right? things hit hard. Kinda would uh wouldn't mind a uh Why 
is it that no one listens to me? The security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I finally had to pull the voice sub system offline. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into the I'm assuming liquor does kind of like it does in the uh, Bioshock. Increase health, but probably decrease psi. Yep. Oh, Ooh, and it decreased a lot too. Okay, yeah, that... <laughs> uh, oh! Is all 
also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. is probably <clears throat> come on through the uh, through there Oh, they start disappearing. Shit. It hard.
got to restrict access to engineering until we can figure out what to do down there. It's just too hot. Oh, I, I don't see know where all the hazard suits went, so I'm reduced to bringing down an armful of rad hypos. Those damn things always give me a headache. I did not get there with that thing going, though. Target higher side increases damage. Oh, makes active alarms time out faster. Yeah, be nice if you could, you know, disable active alarms. So it's like it's Minesweeper. Nice. Oop, I step on corn. I'm assuming that's two. Yeah, three. Oh, shit. 
Reaching back with so little, too. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, I believe. Oh, and I have none of my uh, none of the stuff left. Damn it. All right. Well, I believe I'm gonna call this one done for now, <clears throat> and what I'll probably end up doing uh, for actually playing through this is uh, pay attention to what I was doing beforehand and uh, probably make a little bit better choices with the character build. Um, I guess I didn't realize that when you started your stats were way out of whack versus what they were going to be when you actually started the game. So, I'm not going to save the game. <laughs> cool, stupid. Because, um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be starting that one over. And, actually, it's probably already... Yeah, it's got auto-save. Alright. Eighty-two minutes. Oh, shit! That was way longer than I expected. But um, there we are. That's the tenth game for October. Where my boats at? Where my dragons at? Where my boats? Where my dragons? Where my boats at? Where my boats at? Where my dragons at? Where my boats? Where my dragons? Where my boats? Where my dragons? Where my boats? Where my dragons? Where my boats? Where my drag